a striking clinic, and that is his methodology coming in here tonight. He'll try to keep the fight on. And that's why we tune in, right? That's why we tune in. We tune in to see guys that are dynamic. We tune in for the speed. We tune in for the knowledge of the striking game, the ability to set traps, the ability to find the jab, the ability to find the right hand, the right kick, the left kick, the knees, the elbows. He truly uses every weapon that he has in his arsenal to try and finish his opponent. You make one mistake, night's over. You cannot make mistakes against a guy that has the striking acumen yep. of this guy right here. And the jab is not as underutilized a weapon as it was in MMA, say, five or seven years ago, but he's got as good a jab as anyone in the business, and that is where all of his striking flows off of. We'll see how it goes for him in this matchup tonight. Well, this is exciting here, DC. The founder of Jeet Kune Do, one of the founding fathers, really, of mixed martial arts, Bruce Lee, is back in a big spot here tonight. Bruce Lee is what every kid looked to when they thought about doing karate. Bruce Lee is the person that anyone looked at when they said, I want to be a fighter. It was the speed. It was the charisma. It was the approach of Bruce Lee that made him so special. And tonight, he's going to look to show a new generation of fighters exactly how it's supposed to be done. And if you hear the phrase, drillers make killers, right? I mean, that was Bruce Lee in a nutshell. He felt like practice yes. would make yes. perfect. Nobody trained as hard as the great Bruce Lee. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge, Eve Loving. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold out Madison Square Garden Arena in New York City, it's time! Five rounds in the UFC Heavyweight Division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a kickboxer making his professional debut here tonight. He stands six feet four inches tall, weighing in at 197 pounds. Assassin! And now we produce his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet seven inches tall, weighing in at 145 pounds, fighting out of Los Angeles, California, Bruce the Dragon! Lee. Okay, guys, protect yourself at all time. Obey my command at all time. If you want to touch love, do it now. Go back to your corner. This fight, I'm anxious, man. What a matchup it is, and it's going to be interesting. And it's going to be interesting to see who has the upper hand. Over. It's going to be difficult to find out how this plays out, right? Striker versus well-rounded fighter. Who's going to be the one that's going to control where this fight takes place? Just unable to quite find that range. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by this gentleman. Oh, nice offering there with the knee. He talked to us a lot about that on Thursday. Felt like the knees would be there. It was certainly there on that exchange. He knew they would be available. He just knew he would have to find the right opportunity and right times to land those strikes. Well, he told you off the top he had the reach advantage, and you saw it right there with that punch. Look at him whip his hip into that kick. Body 
Lee going for the leg kick. Nothing doing there. Under three minutes remain in round one. Strong kick to the outside of that lead leg for him there. You do not want to eat too many of those. No, you can't. He does not wind up on that kick, but he somehow is managing to land it with so much force. I mean, just all kicks, not many strikes landed with hands. He has a commitment to kicking tonight, and it shows. Two minutes now to go in the opening round. Over and over, he's landed these big body kicks. Big ball punch lands. Now he gets back to range. Ball combination lands, and it seems like almost every strike found the target. He's so accurate when he decides to attack. It is a sight to behold. Able to check that kick as well. Oh, beautiful jab there by Lee. Look at him drive his shin into his own body with that body kick. Look at the whip action that comes from him throwing that kick. Nice leg kick. And he landed the right hand there. Nice connection with a the punch there. It's hard to recall time in the past that his boxing looked this sharp. He's never looked this good. Oh, sidekick lands. Why don't we now take a look back at some of the highlights from that last round, DC. A lot for the replay guys to choose from. I mean, these guys are going to be very busy trying to find what replay to show you guys. Lands on both sides of the octagon. Both guys fought great. What a phenomenal round. All right, round two is now upon us. Pretty competitive first five minutes, I thought. It's exactly what we expected. We expected when we saw this on the match sheet that these two guys were evenly matched. Let's see who really takes control as we go into the second round. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one? Ooh, head kick lands, he hurts. Punch coming, it's blocked. Unable to connect with the right hand there. Big kick lands. Oh, big head kick lands. Great punch. Oh, well done to block that powerful kick to the body. And he caught the kick. Just over three minutes to go. Oh, beautiful jab by him there, really taking advantage of what is an obvious edge and reach. Man, as he landed a high volume of strikes here in round two, definitely picking up the pace after round one. So he got the message from the corner, and now he is taking control of this second round. Lee gets caught with that punch. He'd be wise to get those hands up. Liver kick. Oh, good kicks. Oh, man, his leg kicks are outstanding, and you saw a great example of that just there. And you see his opponent starting to slow down. He cannot take many of those kicks. What a body kick. Oh, nice job there to land the knee strike to the body again, making great use of his length in this match. Big shot lands. Lee's kick to the body, that one blocked. Pinpoint accuracy on that kick. No wind up, no tell, just a brutal kick. Finish 
so he's really starting to put together some significant body shots here. These are gonna take their toll as this fight goes on. Oh, and he lands another huge knee there as the taller fighter uses his length well yet again. Final seconds here of round number two. And that's the end of round number two. All right, now we take a look back at some of the highlights. He has had his kicking game going early and often tonight. I mean, on point, right? He knew that this was going to be a way for him to take control of this fight. He's used those kicks to really put him out ahead. And I'm not sure if his opponent has the ability to adjust and stop him from landing these over and over. All right, DC, buckle up. Here we go with our next round. High number of kicks landed in the previous round, and he'll look to keep it going. He'll look to keep winning the fight with his kicks. He's throwing high kick, leg kick, body kick. He's even throwing a couple spin kicks in there. This guy is so educated with fighting with his legs. I mean, look at the commitment he kicks in this fight. Going to the leg kick now, and it's there. Nice job by Lee. Missed with that attempt. Big punch land. Well, he continues to land a high number of strikes here, just like he did in the previous round. This is a world-class display of striking here tonight. Oh, beautiful jab by him there. Got that to the target quickly. He's dictating the fight with a jab. Oh, nice jab. Look at how he turns his hip over when he throws that kick. Oh, he slips there and then counters beautifully. His coaches are certainly going to like that. They've been begging him to take advantage of his reach edge. And he certainly did there. Back and forth we go here. Landed a beautiful straight punch there, DC. He's got an edge in reach and certainly is making it count in this one. Yes, that you heard him in the last round. Same exact one. Big kick. Oh, yes, it is a lost art in mixed martial arts. Not just the jab, but the double jab. I mean, a beautiful double jab. That thing's throwing right from the chin, too. Look at how he turns his hip into that leg kick. A really good job by him there to raise the guard, DC, and block those shots coming his way. He does a great job of blocking all the double strikes. Outstanding kick there by Lee. Still unable. That is a huge shot there, DC. I'm not sure how he stayed up there. I mean, when you get hit with a shot like that, to stay standing shows and talk to your toughness. Whiffs off the straight right hand. Just out of range with that right hand. All right, 20 seconds to go in the round. Head kick lands. Punch over the top. Combination lands for him. He is really putting his strikes together tonight. I mean, he's feeling himself tonight, John. He's doing a great job of putting everything together. All right, that horn signifies the end of the round. Let's take us through some replays, champ. And the replays are going to be kicks. That's the story of this fight to this point. He is landing these kicks at will, just driving his shin into his opponent's legs, and it's really starting to slow him down. All right, next round is now underway. Previous round, not necessarily a tough act to follow. Pretty good night. Pretty good round, but not the best round. Sometimes that's what you get to have fighters that are so evenly matched. Look at him chopping the wood. Chop the wood with those leg kicks.
Nice body kick. Oh, what a punch. Man, it doesn't take much for the redness to start. Look at the left side of his body there. Nasty. Very nice outside leg kick by him there, DC. We'll see if he follows it up here. He's really driving his shin into his opponent's thigh, beating his leg up. So he counters with an effective punch there, and at least in that situation, it paid to have the advantage in reach. Oh, lands another beautiful strike to the body, really starting to connect at will when it comes to work in the body, and especially effective doing it later in this fight. Didn't see a lot of that from him in the earlier rounds. Under three minutes now to go on the round. Nice strike. Oh, a huge block there. Just missed with the leg kick. Oh, Superman punch. Not always easy to execute. He did so there. Well, he has landed some good shots, DC, but really unable to string anything together in terms of solid combinations. It's because he's not committing to it fully. He throws his jab. He may throw the right hand out there, but he's not really sitting down on the right hand. He really doesn't seem to have the intent on landing it. He's got to be confident. Oh, huge strike lands there, and somehow his opponent's chin held up. His opponent's chin held up, but you do not want to be on the receiving end of those types of strikes. Boom! Big jab. He's throwing every part of himself into these big leg kicks. Got a single collar tie. Well, this is exactly the sense of urgency you're looking for. Try to take the judges out of it. He is lighting them up now. with that punch, his chin has held up thus far. Gotta shore up the defense here, though. Wow, that right punch has been the money weapon for him tonight, and he landed it again there. If his opponent does not chase something, he will continue to throw the strike until he makes it. Stop throwing it. Horn sounds for the end of round four. All right, so there's the end of the round, and the tide has officially turned a huge head strike to stun his opponent. We'll see which corner can adjust here moving forward. I mean, they've got to be celebrating. They've got to be happy. Everything's working. But the other side has to be concerned. They have to figure something out, make some sort of adjustment to try to change the tide of this fight. All right, next round getting underway here, and both fighters still look pretty fresh to me. Clearly, DC, they put in the right work when it came to the cardio during training. They both have reputation for vast cardio. You see in the trend that they do at their gyms that cardio is key, and you watch it in the way that these two fighters perform. Well, not only has he stayed aggressive as he was in the previous round, landing a high volume of strikes, but he's also been efficient, not just with his strikes, but also with his body movement. Complete performance out of this fighter here tonight. What a great way of mixing up his attack. He didn't stay the course. He mixed it up. He went high when his opponent thought he was going low, and now he's got him hurt very badly. Big left hook coming, it's blocked. He went high on that one. Nice. How about that chin? Just over three minutes now to go in the fight. Under three minutes now to go round five. Able to land with that punch. Beautiful body kick lands right under the elbow. 
Lee's head kick is blocked, so no damage inflicted there. Beautiful punch. Down the stretch they come. We're going down to the wire. It has been all action all the time. I mean, two evenly matched fighters have laid it all out on the line. Let's see who can get the job done as we get to the end of the fight. We need the takedown. Finds a home for the left hand there. Some fighters shy away from checking a leg kick. Check that one. All right, 45 seconds now to go on the rest. Well, straight right hand has been a good weapon for him. He misses with it there. Big kick. 20 seconds left. Oh, significant strike attempt there, but a huge block. What a fight. All right, let's look back at some of the action, DC. They go the distance tonight, but you got to think he won over the judges with his striking acumen tonight. Yeah, you got to watch one of the best strikers in the entire UFC. He did everything so well, and in my opinion, he should cruise to a very easy decision. Official decision is now in. Here is Bruce Buffett. Ladies and gentlemen, after five rounds, we go to the judges' scorecards for a decision. All three judges score the contest. 48-47. Played the winner by unanimous decision, Bruce the Dragon Lee. All right, so there he is. The celebration is on. He tried to leave the judges out of it tonight, was unable to do that, but a pretty dominant effort nonetheless. He's your winner by unanimous decision. And you've got to feel good about that. You've got to feel good about dominating every aspect of a fight and getting a victory. You be very proud of his performance.